Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, and welcome back to our Wildling series, where we play as Raymond Redbeard, and we're still trying to unite beyond the war, but it's gone a lot quicker than I thought it would. We got quite lucky, I think. At the beginning, we had that one war that kind of spiraled out of control, and then also the other Wildlings seem to have been having just trouble with revolts and stuff. Now, last time we created Beyond the Wall, I've decided to continue our invasion of the other ones to unite everyone, but I just remembered we can ask these guys to be vassals. I am now a king. And so this guy would accept. So we could just give people the chance to be able to become my vassal. You know, I am a just man. So I'm going to give them all the opportunity to bow down before me. But if they do not, I'm also wroth. So I'm going to destroy them if they do not. Okay, this one would take vassalization. What about the Fens then? The Fens would say no. This guy we're at war with. Uh, this one as well. This one would say yes, so there we go. That's most of them so far. And not this one. Okay, so this one, Wargaunt, he would not accept for some reason. What are the reasons for your not accepting? Power. Okay, and the opinion of me. So his opinion of me is not good. And of course, we have these uh, southern people. Yeah, he would not accept. Probably false religion, yep. And he was a septum before, so I'm sure he's very much against us. And I think the reason the Fens were not accepted is because they seem to have the old gods. But his son seems to have beyond the wall old gods. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but apparently the father has uh, old gods' faith. So we're probably not going to get him to join us, but I will probably do a de jure attack on him. I won't destroy him because I do want the Fens under me. Now, this one's an Ibarg. Okay, let's have a look at him. He's brave and stuff. Okay, seems like a nice guy. Ice Bay Shore, we have of Ice Guard. Okay, and this one. Crow Hunter. Ooh, okay, I like the fact we have a cr the Crow Hunters underneath us. So that should be good for us as well. Uh, we also are fighting these rebels who are coming to attack us here. Now, that should be fine. We should be able to destroy them. And then we can destroy those rebels and move on to North Frostfangs. Which should be our next target. So how about these guys? Oh, there we go. Perfect. So he's now joined us. There we go. And the last one. There we go. Perfect. So that looks awesome. There we go. Beyond the wall. So we almost have everyone under us, which is great. So we can now start to get a lot more men. Which is all good and fine. Excellent. Okay, so that, that saves us a lot of time. <laughs> which is exactly what I wanted. Okay, those guys have stopped. We're just going to go in to destroy them. Actually, when did these get there? The 1st of March, 18th of March. you got to stop. 7th of March, okay. I just send everyone in, because these 800 should be able to deal with them themselves, and then we'll go to North Frostfangs, then we'll deal with the Fens and the Fist of the First Men at the same time. Though Fist of the First Men does have a lot of soldiers right now, and there's another bloody peasant revolt, Jesus. My son Gorn is not exerting himself in his studies. I'm starting to despair. Okay, so he's not pushing himself in his studies. Okay, there's so nothing saying I would be maybe for that or against that, but I'm a rough man, so I'm going to be quite angry. So I could beat him into action. Talk to. I am honest, though, as well. And just. Hmm, should I beat him into action or should I talk to him about being diligent? I think talk to him about being diligent would be better. Both of them are good options for Raymond Redbeard, but I think maybe this one will be the one we'll go for. So you gain diligent. Perfect. Okay. So, okay, they actually got there a lot quicker than I thought they did. Um, oh, these guys are going there. Jesus. Okay, that was bad. Oh. Okay, did not see that at all for some reason. That was my own fault there. Just lost a few men. Not too many men, but that is kind of annoying because not pen that's when you don't pay attention, I guess. Chief Tormund, you would like to... Ooh, genius. Yes, I accept. Come join us. Ooh, I lose 40 gold. I can't afford it. I'm sorry. I actually can't afford it. I'll order them to stand down. Now, where are they going? They're moving to Antler Vale, 16th of April. So we should be able to get them in time. He cannot end this war. So those rebels are still going to fight against them, but it's fine. It's fine. They're just little rebels. If they win, it shows he's not strong enough. And no one would rebel against me because my glorious red beard. Our red beard is what protects us. Um, yes. Lock blood. So we got rid of that revolt. That's good to see. We only got that revolt because we took the place they were attacking. But really, no one would rebel against us. No one would be that crazy. 
Let's go straight into Northern Frostfangs then. So you get there on the 1st, the 3rd of May. The 2nd. How about you guys wait there then for like two days? There we go. Okay, that should be fine then. Then once we take this, we can then attack the Fens and them. And we'll leave the Gorge till last. We'll leave this, this Reachman for last. Okay, there we go. Completely destroyed them. Your commanding presence on the battlefield was fe felt to during the recent victory by friends and foes alike. You bolstered the spirits of the men when it was needed most, and you personally led the final charge. Excellent. We're getting a lot of prestige and stuff. That's always good to see. I've got too many titles at the moment. Um, the campaigns of Gendel and Gorn. We've got even better at Strip Marshall and stuff. Okay. So we've got some people in my jail, so I might as well sell him into slavery because we need money. <laughs> I can't sell him to slavery. Why? Where's the slavery? I could exile. That does nothing, basically. I could just release. Sacrifice to the werewood. I've not done that. I've not done that yet. I am wroth. So let's sacrifice him to the werewood. Okay, and there's nothing there. Okay. I guess there's meant to be some right in there, but I guess it's not there. Try to recruit the giants. Oh my god. Send your law speaker to seek for the last remaining giants and try to recruit them. The giants are known to ride mammoths into battle. Oh, we have to do that. I have to do that at some point. We need to pay off that loan as well. Jesus, there's a lot of things I need to do. There's a lot of things we need to deal with. If we can get the giants... I I've never done that before because since they added them, I've never played as wildlings. So I have no idea what would happen. We have just enough men to take this, actually. We have 700 men defending. That's a lot. They should be able to defeat the last remaining ones of those. There we go. Perfect. Uh, they're going to Skirlin Pass. So, they're going up here. So, how about you chase... Okay, they just went this way. How about you chase after them, then? Just make sure they don't get in our way. And he's facing some rebels down here. Looks like he defeated them. My son, Oral, hardly eats anything for fear of turning fat. Huh. Okay. He must learn to enjoy life. Uh, I don't think either way. Temperance is a virtue. Must enjoy life. Um, show him as an example. I uh, We might do that, I guess, because I've never done any of the others. Yeah, hold, he'll hold him up as an example. There we go. We'll hold him up as an example to others. People should be more like my son. He thinks of the good of the wildling people. Doesn't eat too much. Doesn't eat all the food. But yes. Um... Quentin of Quentin Harthorn's outlaws have declared war. So we have some outlaws who again want to leave the Night's Watch. What is going on here? The Night's Watch is not doing a very good job of controlling their people. Quentin of Quentin Hawthorne's outlaws. Okay, so we have Hawthorne there. Uh, a Westerman. Interesting. Doesn't seem to be that big of a problem. Only 500 men as well. So we'll take this and then I guess we'll go on and deal with him. Now we've got some men over here. So that's from the gorge, but they still are, you know, against me. That's going to be a problem for us. It's kind of annoying. When did they get there? 23rd of August. Yeah, we'll get them there. Then it should be no time, and they should capture us very quickly. Then we can go down here, defeat those damn Night's Watchmen. Come on. Come on, Hightower. Keep control of your men. If only you had a red beard, then you could keep control... A glorious red beard, of course. Then you could keep control of your men. But you don't. That's the problem here. I don't think people realize how important a red beard is. I don't think they realize. It's obviously why we've been successful. Okay, so there we go. So we just got to deal with these rebels and stuff. Then we'll declare war on both of these. Maybe they'll give up now then. Yes. Okay, he'll give in. So we've got one more and then it's you. Fen, are you sure? The false religion thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just it's pushing you away from us. Okay, fine, Fen. We'll have to just destroy you. Take your lands. It's the way it has to be. Now, I've got too many domains at the moment, so I'm going to have to give some of those away. I guess North Frostfangs is probably the one. Yeah, I want to keep maybe these three, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll probably keep these three for ourselves. I want to keep them all together. Okay. It's almost there. 26th of December. And just a little bit more. Okay, 26th. And there we go. Let's take them out. They've got themselves trapped into a corner. Now, how do we have the best men leading the charge here? 
No, of course not. Joe John's there, and we've got Joseph. Yeah, these guys are much better. Let's go, men. Let's go destroy them. Hopefully, I imagine if I died. <laughs> imagine if we were killed. That would be horrible. Please don't die in battle, sir. A representative from the Iron Bank here is to remind us that I owe them a loan. Well, I am just, so I probably would pay it back, yes. I do not have the full amount, but I'll pay the interest. Yes, here you go then. We'll pay the interest. Apparently I've become ill. That's not... I'm only 28 years old. And we've captured Mr. Hawthorne. Excellent. So we managed to capture that man. The, uh, this man beyond the wall. But he's, he's now underneath me, apparently. Okay, but he's not a prisoner. He's arrived at my court. Interesting. <laughs> so this Hawthorne is now in my court. Very interesting indeed. Let's check out our court. Okay, you'll definitely get some land there. 14. First raider. First trader. These guys are all the best. Ah, Janella. She is better. Let's give Janella it then. Okay, let's make sure all our court are married then. About greens here. You're not the best greens here. Fox is probably the best one. Or Dyer. We'll go for Fox. He's one of my vassals after all. And a priest. He's the best. Okay, so we need to make sure everyone's married here. So... You're married. You're married. First trader's married. What about the girl then? Janelle. Okay, so everyone's married. That's good to see. So then we've got to ride back, take out these. And I should probably start giving out those titles. So we need to give out North Frost Fangs. I'll give it to some of our courtiers. Uh, you, sir. Uh, where's North Frost Fangs? There we go. Perfect. Congratulations. Now, don't lose this one this time, please. It'd be very upsetting if you do. And you can have, I guess, the uh, Shivering Forest. There we go. Perfect. And we have one left to give away. Now, sadly, my son is not old enough. He's only 12 years old. He did become a trained fighter, though. My other son, there's only a port. We're all ill at the moment. What the hell's going on? Why is everyone ill in my home? What has happened? I need to click that. I'm sure that was clicked before. Why is that not clicked now? Now, Devin... Yeah, I cannot sell you in the slavery anymore. Don't know what happened. Maybe because I made the king beyond the wall, we got rid of slavery? It, oh, yes it is. Okay, so when we made the king beyond the wall, we made slavery illegal. Interesting. Okay. So with this, we have that. Okay, realm authority. Okay. I probably would like to go for that a bit, I think. Yeah, we'll go for this. Let's go for uh, a low realm authority. Have approved it. Excellent. Can we go for medium? <laughs> Is that pushing it? We'll have to all wait and see. Once I've defeated these wars, I will have a look. We need to give one more place away. And I'm thinking white tree. So then I have these three. But who do I give it to? Who's in our court? Who do we have in our court? That's kind of interesting. Of when to keep. Nope, you're not interesting at all. Um, we have Hawthorne. Hawthorne is interesting, um, but we're not going to give him that. Boar Hell. I guess we'll give it to one of our commanders. Who's one of our commanders? Let's have a look what we have here. 15. Quent. There you go. Okay, Quent, you're going to be given a title because you've been fighting for us. So here you go. Have White Tree. Congratulations, sir. You're now known as Bath. Okay, so we've got the family of Bath, but we have the Hawthorne under us. What to do with him? Now, he doesn't like me, which is not really a surprise, but I guess he has nowhere else to go. <laughs> I guess he has nowhere else to go. I mean, yeah, I, just, I have to leave him here for now, I guess. Okay, that, that's interesting. So we have, I'm, you're going to be our guide. When we invade south, this Hawthorne will be our guide. He'll be the man we'll use to take them on. But yeah, let's go take out these, uh, these rebels here just for now. I guess I could declare war on these two at the same time. Might be a good idea. I still can't believe he won't accept. It's just a sad day. You guys still have your 800 men up. My prisoners complained about his dark cell. Uh, let him rot. Okay, we're going to have to do something with you. Execute, maybe? No. Can't execute. Ransom? No. 10 gold? Uh, 10 gold's quite useful. I guess we do need 10 gold. I guess we do need 10 gold. But then again, you don't like us. So I'm going to sacrifice you. Yep, let's sacrifice him. Goodbye. We sacrificed him to weirwood trees. Those good trees. Can't offer him vassalization, apparently, to the Septon. 
Minimum feudal taxes. Yeah, we need a lot more money now. I'm not going to get any money from slavery, so we're going to have to be quick here. Yeah, we're not going to get any money at all. I still owe the Iron Bank. Jesus, this is bad. Can I not change the rules for the uh, slavery? Never. Okay. I guess we can never do slavery, which is interesting. Okay, I did not know that. Damn it, that's kind that's kind of frustrating a little bit, but we'll see. I'm get I've got a lot more men though, overall. Get to two thousand. I can have a thousand myself. Excellent. Maybe we should do up the realm authority even more. How much do my vassals like me? Only two don't really like me that much, but it's only a little bit. Overall, they kind of like me. I can't afford though to have a feast or anything. Yeah, I can't afford to have a feast or anything, so I'm going to have to... Yeah, let's not increase anything at the moment, because we don't have enough money, really. Okay, apparently it's passed, thank God. They leave on the 16th. Okay, we'll let them move, and then we'll take them on. The 8th of May. So we're going to move into apparently the Shadow Tower to take, <laughs> take on these rebels. As you make your way home late one night, escorted by your bodyguard, you run into several drunken peasants having a fist fight in the middle of the street. Your guards attempt to steer you away, but you have an idea. Okay, put them up. Okay, apparently I gained poor fighter, um, but I must be off. Okay, that's nice to see we got poor fighter there, so now we got 2.5 dual skill. My children are probably better. Yep, my son would be able to kick my ass in a fight. Uh, and my 10 year old someone actually do quite a good job as well. Now, Gorn's not doing too badly, actually. 10 Marshal and stuff. So that means now, actually, our inheritance should be safe. I think if you're 10 Marshal, it's fine then. So if I was to die on the battlefield, my son would still inherit beyond the wall. Okay, there we go. So that one's defeated then. And now we just need to declare war on the last two. I'm a little bit worried now about money. I'm a little bit worried about that because we need to hire all the mercenaries and stuff. And here we go, I've been waiting for this. Lord Paramount Leo the Longfall has declared Leo the Longfall's War for the Iron Throne on King Ares. Oh my god. Okay, so King Ares is now facing an open rebellion by the Reach. They've declared war for the Iron Throne itself. Jesus, okay. Leo, how many men? 76,000 men. He's a little bit depressed at the moment, so I guess he thinks taking the Iron Throne would be worth it. Skilled fighter, he's a duelist, a brave man. Okay, very, very good leader. His son, Denny's of the Reach. Now, who is involved in this war then? So the Stormlands and North Crackler have joined the Reach, but no one's joined the King. So the Stormlands have actually joined the Reach. Lord Paramount Lionel the Laughing Storm. Very popular character I know. A lot of people like this guy. A strong, skilled fighter, duelist. He is a great fighter. Look at that. So those two against the king, that could be quite a tough battle. Two of the greatest fighters, maybe, of this time period. Facing off against the, I guess, the most scholarly person of this period. And he has no help at all. And obviously the Ironborn are free. This could be a good chance for the Ironborn, then, to actually be able to go raid raiding. And this could be a good chance for us. But then again, the North will likely come to help them. You have 26,000 men. We need the North to be in chaos, really, if I was to attack. Yeah, we'd have to wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's delete our soldiers, or at least our vassal soldiers. There we go. So 700 men. We could declare war. Invasion of Brandon's Gift. So some invasions. The invasion of Shadow Tower. Invasion of the Wall. Oh, my God. I, I would like to do this, but I know that they'll call upon as many men as they can. We only have, like, 2,500, 3,200 men. How many does the wall actually have? Yeah, we, we, we could take on the wall on its own, but I'm sure the North or someone else will join in. But we need, we need the Giants. When we can, we'll get the Giants, hopefully. But I can only call on the Giants once we go to war, so we don't know if the Giants will join us. Which is kind of annoying. I would like it to be like we actually know if the Giants are going to join or not. Let's move you guys up here then. So I think we're just going to attack the Fens. Yeah, we're just going to go. We're going to take these 800 men. I'm just going to attack the Fens with these. Um, I don't think we need to get the rest of our men going. I think we'll be fine. You get the other High Lordship. It's going to cost us money though. We don't have enough money for that. Money is really our big problem at the moment. It's really our big problem. No idea how we're going to get more at the moment. I should probably get my council to do stuff. 
fabricate claims, so dissent. Improved relations might be a good idea. Let's go for that then. 